Hello guys, Banana Luck here and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be doing pools, but not the pools that you're thinking. So instead of doing summons, uh, which we got already, our 1 plus 1 legendary, we're actually going to do artifacts. And if you look at the mystery of artifacts ranking, I'm actually number one and six times more than the next guy in line. So the reason being that I watch a couple of content creators this week and I've come to the conclusion that it might be time to, you know, uh, start farming for artifacts. Reason being that in my guild boss lineup, most of my heroes already have uh, gear sets that are optimal. So I have Infernal and Zilla 2, Insight on Satrum. Pilas is in broken gear, but all of this is very decent. He's at more than 400 attack speed. Valeria as well, and who else do we have? Uh, where was he? Yeah, Wrath is in decent gear as well. And then I also have uh, Loros. Where is he? Pyros. Yeah, oh, I missed him. He's here. I can see that gear wise we are more or less all right to be honest so i just thought that it would be a good time to switch it up and start farming for artifacts instead because we aren't making any progress if we just keep farming for gear because that comes once in the blue moon every hundred run gives you one good ancient and if you're lucky maybe out of that hundred get one or two gears that have good substats and then maybe one of them actually has good ropes so that's the reason I came to the conclusion maybe it's more worthwhile to go for artifacts. And artifacts wise, I think we've been pretty lucky. We did pull the flawless meteorites a few times. So we have uh, three copies of Nether Messenger. One of it I used to upgrade Silas's. And we have uh, Soul Reaper Insignia, Flawless Blade. Crystal of Valness, which I think is one of the better uh, artifacts out there. We also have a couple of Tear of Starlights, and I think another one on Nocturne. And this is the classic Ragnarok, which you get from the guild shop. And we got quite lucky as well with uh, Brokia's exclusive artifact. And we have Zealous' exclusive with another dupe of it as well. And I think Oleg War, we have two of it on, I think, Orador and Oleg himself. And then Ruff has a Scarlet Hunt, which everyone gets uh, from the storyline quest as well. But uh, we are looking for more Crystal of Valness. I think that's the goal here. Other than that, I think Chaos Starlight as well would be nice to up the mages. But besides that, I think there's... Nothing much that we're really looking for. All of you for I have two copies of that and it's on Halloween for now, so that's fine. So I think really what we're looking for is Nether Messengers. Um Scarlet Hunt, no, because I don't have any bleed heroes yet. Crystal of Valness, so I can swap it out from uh Zilitu who's using Flawless Blade, which is not that optimal in Guild Boss. And then a couple of um where was it? Was it I? No, it's not Idris Gaze. Taunting Gaze. I think this would be nice for just a gear tree in general. Because we don't have Araka yet. With Araka, that's built into all your pierces. So we'll rip a few of the legendary first, which we got from the random 30 drops in Artifact Raid 18. And then we'll do 10 runs of the uh, Mythic Forge. So let's let this go first. I've got lucky before with this. Uh, sometimes I just get a mythic even though it's 5%. And it annoys me that once I did a mythic forge 10 times and I had no mythics, but on the legendary on a single pool, I got a mythic, which was annoying. What kind of nightmare is this? 3% for up to 9 times, so that's 9% damage bonus. Which is nice if you're in the early game, but in the end game, I think it doesn't really make a difference. Increase damage by 10%. Okay, so on to the more juicy stuff, the mythic forge. And let's hope we get some good stuff here. Wow, okay, two mythics. Void Gazer is new, so I think this is decent for heroes like Zillitu. 
as well as um, arrogance. So beyond one tile, every one tile beyond the first damage is increased by one three percent. So nine percent, I guess, at max because that's how many tiles they hit. Regal Majesty, I think it's just yeah extra healing on defenders. Not really that good to be honest. Is there anything else that's of interest? No. War song. No, this is useless. I am actually for I, I did forge up uh, ancestral teaching on Dolores just to boost the attack. So I think that's the only epic artifact that you probably want. Nice, another crystal of Valnus. Exactly what we're looking for. And blue eyes, blue sea eyes ring. I've seen people talk about this. So it's a mage artifact and has a chance to slow. I think it works really well on Mari, apparently, but haven't really tested it out otherwise. Ajax Ridge, this is just crit damage. So I guess if your mage is lacking crit, that's fine. This, no, there's nothing here. Taunting is another one of the nice ones. Yeah, but I think that's, that's it for this one. Nightmare Samsara, I think it's pretty decent as well, especially on units that are lacking rage. So I was thinking to pop this on Pyros actually, so that he gets out more uh, more of his out. Okay, let's continue with this. Nice, let's see what we have. Another Soul Reaper Insignia, that's nice. That's good for Heart Suit. Another Nether Messenger, that's nice too. Book of Distortion, I think we have two copies of this already. Prayer Scroll, this is new. Let's see. Oh no, I think this is one of the crappy healer artifacts. But never mind, we have all of you for already, so that's not really a concern. Wow, this look okay. Sharpshooter's Crest, this is for Nick, probably. This is new. Oh, okay, this is the one that increases attack. I remember there was one that gives um, rage when you enter the battlefield for healers, but I don't see it here. Olex Wall, I mean, can't complain. We'll always love another one of this. So let's continue on. Six more pools. Scarlet Hand, another of this, but we don't really need it. Well, Custer's Echo. I think this could be decent on, um, who was it? Um, Queen Finn or Paras as well. I think the rest are nothing really interesting. Another Sharpshooter's Curse. So that's for next. Or Razak, if I ever pull one one day. Okay, another Void Gazer and lots of Ancestral Teachings. Another Nether Messenger. We're pretty lucky with this. My friend was just complaining that she's not getting any of this. Uh, what else is there? Zealous Manuscript. We've got a third one now of this, so I'm not sure if we're lucky or not, but yeah, we'll take it. It's an exclusive artifact. Okay, this was not as lucky. Just a Soul Reaper Insignia. That's for Heart Suit again. Continue on. Three more to go. Oh my goodness, another Crystal of Valness. We are popping today. Nether Messenger, another one. Give of hope, this is not what we need. I still don't find the one that gives um, rich when you deploy the unit. Is it even here? Let's see, healers. Ah, it's this Spirit Horn. I've never gotten one of this before. I think that would be nice, especially on Dolores, but I have her on. The cute boss, the ancestral teaching already, so maybe not the best. Blood Thirst, I think this is the one I... Oh, okay, this is the Defender one. I thought it was the one where it decreases your HP for Marksman. So this is nice, um, especially for Corridor, I guess, who's more of a bruiser compared to like a, you know, Defender or... That's nice. Still don't have that one that we were talking about, but last ten pool. Let's hope for a good one. Okay, another Olex, another Nether Messenger. Okay, 
very lucky and an overview for you. So that completes our pool, which I took two full days to actually get, you know, all the flawless meteorites. So let's look at our loot. It's annoying that they don't let us out. Be all this at once. So we got two extra crystal valners. The rest we don't really care. New void gazers and then another scarlet hun. Then let's see on the archers. How many nether messengers? One, two, three, four. We have four nether messengers. Pretty sick. Two soul reaper and three soul reaper insignias. Three sharp shooter crest and I think we already had this. And then Olex War, I think we got three extra Olex War. Okay, that's nice. And we got this. This is new. So I'll probably build it up on my corridor. And then on our mages, nothing fancy, I think. We didn't get another tier of Starlight, which is very rare. Just more Book of Distortions. This is new. The Blue Sea Ice Ring. We already have two of the Zealous Manuscript, which I don't plan to get up anymore because we already have um, Lazier, so there's no need to actually get more of those. And then for our dear healers, one more of Euphoria, which is nice, and the other stuff that we don't really need. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. Pretty long one, but I am happy with my artifact pulls. And then this is the way that we can really progress from Guild Boss because uh, I'm pretty much maxed out on the damage that we're doing and I think when I swap Crystal of Valners from Wrath to Valeria, the damage actually went up by 10 million. So hoping to see that tomorrow once we have it on Zilla 2 as well as the upgrades to Nether Messenger for both Silas and Sephiroth. So yeah. That's it for the video guys, thanks for tuning in, if you enjoyed the content feel free to leave a like, comment or even subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.